Another vital sign is respiration. Respiration is the process of inhaling and exhaling. Measuring respirations includes counting the number of respirations per minute and observing for signs of abnormality. Abnormal breathing signs include shallow breathing, labored breathing, where the person struggles to breathe and may make gurgling, rattling, or wheezing sounds, stertorous breathing, where the person makes noises like snoring when breathing, abdominal breathing, where the person uses mostly abdominal muscles to breathe, irregular breathing, where the depth and rate of breathing is not steady, and chain stokes breathing, where breathing alternates between slow, shallow breathing and faster, deeper breathing. To measure respirations, you will need a watch with a second hand and a pen and paper to record the result. Be sure to wash your hands before giving care. In order for you to get an accurate measurement, the person must be unaware that you are counting respirations. Mrs. Brown, I'm going to measure your vital signs, all right? Sure. Therefore, respirations should be measured immediately after measuring the pulse. Simply continue to hold the wrist after measuring the pulse. And watch the chest. If you cannot see the chest rise and fall, hold her arm across the chest and feel the chest move. Look and listen for any signs of abnormal breathing. One rise and one fall of the chest counts as one respiration. Count the respirations for one full minute. Adults normally breathe at the rate of 16 to 20 respirations per minute. Write down the number of respirations per minute and ensure comfort. Remember to wash your hands after giving care and report any unusual observations immediately.